Uh, what you about to do with this money? Huh? What you about to do with this money? All right, you want me to come in there and buy it for you? Why? If you want this money, give me five push-ups. Five push-ups? For this money, face ass. He better give me a whole five, face ass. Let me go to work, face ass. I do what I do to make money, face ass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Huh, bro? <laughs> I ain't Boy, this nigga wildin'. This nigga wildin'. Do it. One. Two, three, four, six, five. That's five. Come get your money. Come get your part. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he told me I come get the money. <laughs> Oh, man, what's going on, Seaport? It's Pac-Man Jones of Savannah Seaport News, and I'm pretty kind of slightly disgusted because I was at work and I was seeing this video floating online on Facebook of Quando Wando when he pulled up to Atlanta. And he was pretty much just finessing some homeless people and they're doing push-ups for five dollars but you know uh, a lot of people responded to this online and they don't like it uh, me personally I'm just getting straight to the point I don't like this shit man it's it's really tasteless and I mean it shows you that people who have money should be doing better things than fronting and flexing online uh, you know Quan Rondo, man I mean he's in a position where he could help out a lot of people now you know I mean I don't I'm not pocket watching the young brother but you know I can only assume how much money he's making off of his music and you know he can do some positive stuff with his money and with his music but you know a lot of people they get caught up in the social media and online and being on the internet and just want to be relevant and you know just trying to stay hot and just try to stay in that internet presence you know a lot of people say clout but you know whatever but it's just it's really tasteless man like if you really didn't want to give money out to the guy you know you just should have said hey man I can't really give you no money right now or I can't give you really anything right now and I know that's probably harder to do if you're a celebrity or a famous person or somebody that has some significant money I know that's probably harder to pull off but I mean you know you don't have to do a, a homeless man like that or homeless men like that you know because you know, you just got to look at it on the other side, man. Like, what if an Atlanta rapper came to Savannah? You know, what if a, a little baby? Or what if a, a gunner? What if a young thug pulled up to Savannah and was flexing all the all the money, you know, all the loose change that they had in their pocket and told a, a homeless person in West Savannah, you know, if we, if we give you X amount of dollars, you know, you got to do some push-ups. And then they finesse them. You know, how would the people feel in Savannah, you know what I'm saying, like, they'll say that, you know, that's some fuck shit, we can't fuck with nobody like that, and, you know, that it really is some fuck shit, I ain't gonna like, if you really didn't want to give money out to the guy, just say no, and one thing I want to say about this is, you know, I'm, maybe I'm just the only person that really, like, hates the social media, like, internet, like, just, like, the whole flexing thing, like, just putting the camera to your face and just doing some dumb shit, you know, if you want to do some dumb shit, don't record it, you know what I'm saying, just keep it in the dark where it should be he can he has a lot of potential man like even though he did this dumb shit man like he can honestly do something that's 10 times greater than this so uh you know you just have to have the ability to forgive somebody even though people pray their foolishness and their ignorance online 24 7 but you know it's Quan Rondo, man, you really got to do better. You know, if he if he's watching this video or not, man, he, he really got to move better because not only are you shitting on people that are homeless, but you're shitting on people that supports you. And, you know, when the people that support you, when they see you doing some goofy shit, when they see you doing some dumb shit, some fuck nigga shit, they're going to stop supporting you. And, you know, that might be from your listeners. It might be people in your own clique when they see you doing some some dumb shit like this i mean people gonna slowly but surely turn their backs on you i mean 
I got nothing but, you know, positive things to say about you, you know, hopefully in the next video that I do about you. But, you know, you can't be doing this, man, because it, it do make you look like a fuck nigga, man. Like, that's just what it is. There's no other excuse. Like, people ain't rocking with this at all. Like, not one bit, you know. Like, I just would have more respect if you just told a man, no, I can't give you nothing, you know. And if you is going to promise somebody some money, you know, just give it to them. I know it's like $5. I know you got thousands of dollars at this point you know you a thousand there or whatever i'm not like i said i'm not pocket watching but you know like i said man and to be honest with you quan Rano don't even need to do something like this he don't need to be on live on snapchat on instagram you know recording himself doing some fuck shit be honest with you he can get the same amount of views on snapchat and on instagram doing this shit if he was doing like a music video if he was recording himself in a goddamn booth or something like that you know he could probably have more viewers peeping his shit, you know, watching his stuff, you know, if he was doing some more positive stuff, and that's why you see a lot of, like, rappers, you know, even some local rappers, they have a chance when they give back, they do, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to knock him too much, you know, because, like I said, he does have a lot of potential to do a lot more great than he does bad, but, uh, you know, after this, when I upload this video, I'll probably watch this two more times, and I'm done with it be honest with you man because i don't i don't like that that's that's poor taste beyond poor taste but let me know how you feel about the situation man do you feel like Quan rondo was wrong or do you feel like Quan rondo owes this man or owe these people a few pieces of change out of his pocket you know let me know how you feel in that comment section but that's all for right now it's savannah seaport news and man stay blessed most definitely